Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Relic here, and welcome to my patch TLDR for patch 8.10, which just hit this morning. It's about 7 in the morning right now, 7 or uh, 7.30. Uh, as you can tell by my hair, this is what I look like when I come out of bed. Anyways, I thought I'd do a little TLDR, but for those of you that may not want to read the whole patch notes and still want to get sort of the core of uh, what's changed and what's going to affect your games, uh, the most so uh, stick around and let's get right into it the first thing you're probably going to notice in your games Of course is the new vehicle the new little ball that you can roll around in it does have a boost and it has a grapple So uh, really interesting you cannot get shot while you're in the ball. So um, That's also kind of interesting. I think it might be quite strong to rotate really again It has 300 HP so it can get shot down quite quickly But it still gives you that invulnerability for a couple seconds at least while you're in it so Definitely an interesting vehicle. We'll see how that plays out. It is found around the pirate ships uh, from what I can tell so around should be around like the pirates uh, Areas and I think maybe the one near to the towers. I haven't checked just yet So uh, I'll probably show it on the screen after I go test um, and record this video It's called the baller of course again. It looks like like a little hamster ball right another change you're gonna see in this patch uh, Is a the infantry rival the common rarity was removed which is probably gonna make you a lot of uh, a lot of people happy so no longer any uh, common infantry rifle, they were super, super common in the chest, so they're completely removed now. You're only going to be finding either uh, the uncommon or uh, I think the, the, there's maybe a rare version. I, I can't remember. Um, they also nerfed the heavy assault rifle like a lot. There's an 8 damage reduction on the uh, base, and I think it's 8 throughout. But yeah, it's, instead of doing 44 like it used to do on the blue version, now you're going to have a green version, I guess. And uh, it's going to be doing... 36 damage, 38 damage, and 40 damage for the, uh, so it's it's an 8 damage reduction overall, which is huge. I mean, the reason why people take the AK-47 right now is because it just has such good poke, and, and just for the very few amount of bullets that you use on the heavier assault rifle, you're doing a lot of damage. So, especially competitively, this is going to be a huge nerf. Um, I mean, there's very scarce amounts of ammo when you play competitively, and so having a weapon that does you know, an extra amount of damage for every bullet that you that you shoot was was very very important. And now again, so this was was this huge nerf. I I, I I guess the the weapon was considered OP. I also think it was it was quite it was quite strong. It was basically being used by everybody. I don't know if this is still going to be putting it in front. It's still doing more damage than you know your 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 uh, your assault rifle or even your scar. But it's it's still a lot less than it used to be. Uh, clingers are now reduced as well, so you can only have six. Pretty big nerf, actually. So that's like you know that that's forty percent reduction. Vending machines, <laughs> another very interesting change that they've made. Now the vending machines are basically a chest. Is is what what they are. Um, you will now have a vending machine, and you get to choose which item you want from the vending machine, and it, it'll be free. And as soon as you choose the item, the vending machine will disappear, uh, which is very very interesting i guess that it's going to be very important for you guys to know where the vending machines are in the game uh because again the weapons that you find in them are going to be free they're going to be just so you choose what it whichever you want you click on it it's going to give it to you and then you can go on your way um and they remove the mountain turrets and the legendary vending machine so there's there's only going to be uh the rare vending machines i guess so it's only going to be the purple one or the 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 blue one i'm not sure so the common uncommon were removed and the legendary as well. So there's only the the, the rare, I think, remaining uh, in the game. Now, the treasure maps as well, they've been reduced. So, so half, uh, it's, instead of being 0.45 or 0.5%, it's going to be 0.27. So there's half the maps that you're going to find on the floor and about half the maps you're going to find in the chests, um, which is pretty good. Also, the chest, a uh, little bug here. I'm not going to go through all the bug fixes because I'd rather stay on uh, really the changes that are going to affect you. But there's no longer going to be, uh, you know, maps that bring you in the middle of nowhere and like the middle of the, the water or maybe the starting island, which happened for a lot of people I've seen. Uh, there's now gameplay wise a cross play basically between Xbox and PS4 is kind of pretty much automatic now. So uh, you don't have to play with an Xbox player to play uh, with an Xbox lobby if you're on PS4. Everyone is going to be in the same lobbies now, Xbox and PS4. Uh, this is an opt-in, but like, if you don't opt-in, you can't play games. So I guess it's pretty much uh, required. The only thing that you can play if you don't opt-in is creative mode and playground. So everyone's going to be playing on the same servers now. The reason why they're doing this, uh, also the Switch players and the mobile players are going to be in the same lobbies, which is good because I believe the, the Switch players used to be with the PS4 and Xbox players, which is very unfair since the... Switch definitely plays a lot more like mobile than it does a console. 
Um, so yeah, this is a very good news. The reason why they're doing this is what they're saying here is because they want to have more players um, playing the game really in the same servers so that they can have events like they're having right now in the game, which is, you know, the, the ranked events um, because there's not enough players right now to, uh, to justify that. So kind of a good change. I'm hoping that's going to reduce some of the queue times when we're playing uh, the competitive modes and, and the pop-up the pop-up cups and whatnot um interesting okay uh the infinite dab we don't care the uh it's it's reduced just kidding it's actually now 13 hours great stuff um also great change uh, for people that you know again this is more competitive side but elimination credits so for example if you shoot someone and they decide to leave the game because they're frustrated or if they you know kill themselves for some reason storm damage you will still get the kill now after 15 seconds. So you still have a 15 second window after damaging someone where that kill is going to be rewarded to you no matter what, which is a really, really interesting change as well. Um, I'm happy about that. Uh, and the events for those of you that are competitively uh, driven like myself, very interesting this week. We have a seven day event, which is super nice. So basically the event is going to be running on all the way until next weekend. So, um, or sorry, next Tuesday, I think. Uh, let me go check right now in, in the in-game. Um, actually, so the, the solos event, let's just say, it does end on the... Uh, next, that's next week, next week. So there's about six days, uh, six, seven days of, of actual in-game events. And really the rest is, is, is kind of, uh, I guess, creative and all that. I don't look too much into it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of interesting things for the creative players. So guys, that was it. That was my TLDR. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that's uh, going to let you know exactly what you need to know to get into your next games and play the game, and I'll see you soon.